Hi everybody, it's Linda from The Crafting Depot and today I want to show you something I was playing with. So I took out a piece of um, some watercolor paper. It's 100% cotton and I highly recommend it. This is um, hard press, which means basically that it's, it's soft and it's not bumpy like the cold pressed. So I was just doodling around and I came up with this and that's what we're going to do today. So, and we're going to probably do a lot more to it. But um, I got started. So this is paper that um, was recommended. It's watercolor paper by Mead, and it's hot press, and it's 100% cotton. And from what I understand, um, it's very important when you're doing watercolor to use 100% cotton. So I also got myself this really cool brush that has a very nice point, and it's by Princeton. It's an Aqua Elite. I got it on... Amazon and it's a quill. It's a size six. I thought it was a nine, but I think it's a six. Okay, so it needs to be wet. And instead of using um, paper towels, I just grabbed an old rag because the paper towels get sopped up with so much water. And this is much better and easier, as you can see, to um, dampen your or dry off rather your um, water. So, and I have two two jars of water here so when one gets dirty I use the other one and I probably might have to pause at times and just um, get more water so what I'm going to start doing and this is super easy this is easy peasy we can all do this we're just going to make hearts and we're going to just use whatever colors we want I am using right now the Kiritake paints they're watercolor paints and I like them the other one, the one that I did with this was with the grabby. So when I'm done, we'll just see, you know, if there's a difference. And what I'm going to start doing is just doing this. It's super easy, guys. We all know how to make a heart. And then I'm just going to color it in with the end of my brush and try to come to the best point I can. And because this is a, a doodle, let me take this off. This is just doodling. I'm not too worried about how perfect my um, my hearts are. So I'm going to go over to, I'm going to pick this orange, which is, um, and as I've told you, I don't, I think I went over some of the colors. So this is cadmium, cadmium orange, if you want to know. And I'm just going to turn the page and do another heart like this. And that's what I'm going to be doing throughout this. And I'm just going to randomly pick colors. And I may go big, big hearts, little hearts. I'm going to do another one. I'm just going to go down here, do a little bit smaller, and just see different sizes and fill them in. And it's fun, it's relaxing, and it's easy. We can all do this. So next I'm going into cadmium yellow and I'll put one right here and fill it in. And I'll come over here and what is this? This is cadmium, no, greenish, ye greenish yellow. This is greenish yellow. I'm gonna go over here and do greenish yellow. This may be, this may turn out to be long because you know it takes time to paint. And um, then after we paint, we're gonna um, doodle. And I'm not too worried about if there's too much paint on here because you can always use your brush to mop it up. I really like this brush. It's a super nice brush. Okay, so now we're going to go into some darker green, which is olive green. The next one's olive green. And we're going to turn the paper upside down. And we're going to go like this, olive green. And the paints really spread very easily with the Kiritake. Now this has a lot of paint so I'm just going in with my brush and I'm picking some of it up and spreading it around. There we go. Okay, easy peasy. 
And then we have this next green is lime green. I love lime green. And we're going to go down here. Down here. And I'm just going to put in a lime green. And I'm just going real quickly with this. Maybe pick up some of that here with my brush. Okay, and now we're going to move along. So now let's get some um, malachite and get some malachite. Hey, Baxter. And we're going to go right here. And fill that in. That looks pretty cool. Now you can you can do more than one heart with the same color if you want. I'm trying to get that. There we go. Um, I don't know what I'm doing if I'm going to do more than one color, but I'm just going to move along. And I'm going to get the next one is Ultramarine Pale. So Ultramarine Pale. I'm going to dab it a little bit. And I'm going to turn my book upside down like this. And I'm going to go like that. Ultramarine Pale. You're very light and pale. That's why they call you ultramarine pale. Okay. I hope you're all doing a good, having a good day. And all I ask of you is to please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to follow me. I make a lot of videos every week. And I do, I, I um, have them organized. Actually, some of them need to be re, um, gone over. But I have, if you look under... So on the top, there's little um, areas where you can see like junk journal envelopes. You can see um, finished made journals. I mean, there's, you know, watercolor doodling, gel printing. And here we go. I have a great idea for a gel print. And that'll be coming up. So stay tuned. It's, I'll tell you, I've always been um, into acrylics, and I bought the acrylics, I mentioned it before, to, um, let's see, where are we, we're moving over here, and we're doing, what is this, cerulean blue, cerulean blue, so we're going to get cerulean blue, and um, what was I just saying? I don't know. Oh, I bought some acrylic paints and I had mentioned in a previous uh, video that I wanted to, there's way too much water here. We're going to turn you around and go this way. Now you're really light. You're very pale here. We need more. Okay. Yeah, so I I went to Hobby Lobby the other day and um, I picked out some very inexpensive watercolor, not watercolor, sorry, acrylic paints. It's very hard sometimes being me. It's not easy. Let me tell you, um, doing two, two different things, it's not easy. Okay, let's skip the paint. Let's skip the row and go down here to purple. I'm going to grab purple and I'm going to do another heart they're really simple one and it's great practice for your um, arm control you know it's important if you're interested in doing watercolor to just or anything just you know do your craft whatever craft it is that you like practice it every day or something that you know if you can I know a lot of us it's difficult but you know um, because I can remember working and the kids and all that. It was just too much. But if you have the time, it will only behoove you to practice. Okay, that's too light. And now that's too much. But that's okay, because you can always mop it up. It's not a big deal. Never fear, my friends. You can always figure it out. There. 
and you can see some of them are drying already. This paper is great paper. Okay, so let's move along. Let's see what else we have. Let's get down here to Indian Red. Indian Red is going up here. It's a nice color. There we go. We'll do another one down here too. I like maroon. Let's go up here to maroon. We'll put maroon here. Looks like Indian red. Pretty close. Slightly different, but pretty close. Okay, I think I got a lot. I have this color up here, which is burnt sienna so we're going to get the burnt sienna up here and we're just going to put in a little dab my brush off and just put in a little burnt sienna so you do whatever you know you could do circles you could do squares you know any shape you want I just happen to pick um, hearts today because I do love hearts and I wear a heart on my the end of my necklace. I never take it off. The father of my children gave me the heart necklace, and I wear it every day in memory of him. And I he knew I loved hearts, and that's why he bought it for me. Hearts are are a beautiful thing, and we all need love in our life. Love and happiness. So that's what this represents. And this is just a fun little idea. Okay, what do we want to do next? Let's get out. Let's use, let's try the gold. I have no idea how that's going to look. And this is gold. Just says gold. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? Okay, so let's see. We'll put some gold in. We might need a little more. Let's see. Coming in. Really pretty. All right. Then I'll take some of that up. Okay. So let's go down here. Um, we did purple, we didn't do cherry blossom pink, did we do that one? That looks like we did do that one. Rose beige, let's do rose beige, let's see what that looks like. And we'll just do, maybe we'll turn this around, I'm sorry if uh, this is making you dizzy. We'll do a little heart here, and it's very faint. And here we go. Very light, but that's okay. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is dry this. So I'm going to dry this, and I will be right back. So I just used a hair dryer, and then I noticed that, you know, there was some puddles. So what I did was I just took a tissue and I just damped, you know, just um, pressed lightly on the page and got some of the extra water that was accumulating and you can see there's some splashes you know here and there and it's part of you know the uniqueness and the beauty that I love of watercolor so the next thing I'm going to do is get my brush again and I'm just going to go in with maybe I'll use this beige again and I'm just going to go around Super easy, fun. And you can cut these out and use them as book pages if you want. And we'll just spread this around, go around. Real easy. And then maybe what I'll do is get a little bit of the olive green and I'll go in here like this. Probably shouldn't have gone next to that, but that's okay. 
nothing there are no rules here you do you and you have fun that's what this is all about and don't worry because everything is gonna be all right it's gonna be fun I mean if you wanted to you could even frame it okay let's get another color here let's get some of this blue let's go in here and let's go back over some of the beige with the blue and blend where are we here just blend see you just blend it and bring it down and around and get more of that beige and blend it and you get like um kind of like a tie dye a little bit I like the way the colors blend with the um, with the beige. Just go around this, and what you could do also is you could just wet your paper, and then the water will spread differently. So let's try that. I'm going to wet the paper. We're going to go in with um, we'll go we'll go in with purple. Let's see purple, and we don't have enough purple. There we go. More purple and it whoops get down there get over there get over there what do you think you're doing oh my goodness there he goes again he knows I'm talking to you guys he doesn't like it so we got a darker purple here maybe we'll do the darker purple because we didn't really like the light what was that light pink lilac Get the darker purple in here and just spread it and how pretty is that I know I shouldn't compliment myself I get too excited sorry I'll listen to her she's all uh, you know love with her work no I just I'm happy I'm happy and I'm happy to be doing this with you guys, you ladies and gents, who's ever watching. And there we go. I had such a fun night last night. Again, went out. Oh, I have to tell you what happened before that. Me and Oriani went, um, we went zip lining. Oh my God, we had so much fun. I laughed so hard and it was rough there were some places that were rough I actually got stuck on one of them and I couldn't get up and what's really funny is I got I scooted myself over to the next um, swing it was like a swing and Oriani's like all you have to do just stand up I, I'm laughing so hard I said Oriani I can't stand I can't get myself up so this very nice young guy comes over and like Tarzan, I'm not kidding, just like Tarzan, he comes flying across this thing and rescues me. <laughs> oh my God, we had so much fun. We're going to do it again. And Pam's going to come with us. She was afraid at first, but she's not afraid anymore because we showed her videos. Oh, look at that. I covered up the heart. You see how upset I am? Uh, not upset at all. I'll go over it again. Here you go, heart. Somewhere in there you are. Um, yeah, we had a blast. Let's get some lime green in here. Why not? Where are you, lime green? We're gonna... I know, there's lime green there. I see it. What can I say? Oh my God, we had so much fun. It was a blast. So we're gonna we're gonna put together a group, 
and get you know see if some other people want to go there were little kids doing it too I was shocked and then my friend Paula said to me did you go on the one where you um you you crash into the net and I said no <laughs> we didn't do that <laughs> no we didn't do that we did the beginner and intermediate twice and believe me when I tell you it was a lot of work she she said they were numbered but when we went there, they weren't numbered anymore. They had them just uh, um, beginner, intermediate, and what was the other one? I don't know. It was like, you know, advanced, really advanced. So this is, this is what you want to do. You just want to play with the water. And as you can see, I'm getting, I'm having fun. It is so much fun. Okay, I'm sopping up some of the screen. And you see the paper is kind of buckling right here, but it goes flat. Don't worry. So now I'm going to go back and dry it again, and then we're going to go on to doing some doodling. Well, actually, no, not true. Let me keep going. I forgot what I want to do. Okay, so we have some dark colors in here, and what do they say? Indigo? Indigo is one, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what indigo. Oh, it looks like I got a hair in here. It's probably my hair. Because Baxter doesn't shed, so it's my hair. I shed. Okay, so we're just going to put little circles in here and just little lines. Nothing makes, has to be. Um, let's put the. We're just going to put, oh, okay, that was too much. All right. I'm going to do that, mop that a little bit, and then um, let's go back into there, and we can go around very lightly with the tip of the, of the, um, the brush, and, um, Just make shapes. Like that. Go into the blue. Make circles. Into the green. And maybe go around. Make an outline. Lightly if you want, or heavy. Let's get some black. I think there's black. Yep. Get it off. Boop. Just using the tip of my brush. Letting it spread. And that's okay. Spreading is good. It's giving a, it's giving a new... The water is spreading. Fun. Okay, let's get the blue and go in here again. And this is sap green deep, sap green deep. Let's see. Too much water. And maybe outline it here. And there. Yeah, we had so much fun. I was so tired. And he said, yep, yeah, we got to go take a nap. I said, there's no time to take a nap. If I fall asleep, it's going to be like two hours before I wake up. I'm terrible when I take a nap. Oh, my God. I'm bad. I could be out. One, two, three. Okay, this is um, Viridian. That's pretty. Viridian, you're pretty. Where do you want to go, Viridian? I'm just going to let it, you know, drip because we're going to use these 
in our next idea. Um, we'll go. This is that malachite. And I'm just going to go like this. And I know it's too much water. It's okay. Because I'm going to let it bleed. I'm going to let it bleed. Maybe get some. What's next? To, it's um, raw umber. Let's try the raw umber. Now it's too light. Now it's too dark, too too heavy, more than I wanted. So I'm going to sap it up, bring it up. You can use a tissue, or I'm just using the end of my brush. And here, and here, and everywhere. And you'll see when we're done with this, it's going to, we're going to do something else. We'll get that sap green dark again. Do a little... We're just doing squigglies. Squigglies. Get the sap green. And let's get some of this red up here. It's, um, what is this? Carmine, that's my dad's name. He was always called Gracco, but his name was Carmine. He was named after his grandpa. He didn't like it though. He liked Rocco. Okay, we got the gold down here. Let's see how get some black in there. Right next to the red. And that's bleeding so now what I want to do is get that blue again cobalt blue and go over this and you just want to have fun you want to take out your your I was gonna say crayons you want to take out your paints this is Persian blue Persian blue and we're going to go over here and around. Anybody can do this. There. Okay, we didn't get this one. We got to get them all gotta get all of you okay so we're gonna go in with some red I have too much water red and again we're gonna go like that just having fun And you're just making squigglies, squiggly lines. Where was I? Here. And dots. And dots. Little dots. Right there. Oh, there was a heart. Was that a heart? Where else? Let's go back in here. And just, I'm just tapping now. I think we got most of it.
And that's all there is to it, is just having fun. Okay, so I'm going to dry this, and I'll show you the last step that we're going to do. Okay, paints are still a little bit wet. I just smushed, but you know what? It's okay. We're going to go over it. So hopefully my pen works. So now what I'm going to do is outline everything with the pen. And then I'm going to go inside these little doodles and just outline them. And don't worry, let me bring my pen, to my thing down closer. Don't worry if you um, go out of the lines, it's all part of what you're doing. So you want it to be loose and easy peasy. This is not supposed to be stressful, this is supposed to be fun. Okay, so here, this got a little distorted. We're just gonna go over it with the pen and now you see it, just like that. And around and around. And here's a very faint line. And I'm gonna go around this like this and bring it out. I, I really am so happy to be doing arts and crafts again and learning about books and I make the kettle stitch now I learned that I really like that's probably my favorite the easier one is the three pamphlet stitch but the one I really prefer is the kettle stitch and it's not that hard maybe the first one would be a little tricky but it's doable you know pamphlet stitch is much easier Okay. And then we're going to go around like this. And you can see already a difference on those two that I did. Okay, so moving along, we are going to outline the inside of this red heart and then go around little doodles and see what we came up with from our little splashes and around we go pretty cool let's do this one and outline these doodles This almost looks like a cactus and, and a rock. And get to this one. This is a lot of fun. You can do this with your, your grandbabies. Or you just do it when you're relaxed. Or even if you're stressed out, this is a great activity to do. If you just feel um, out of sorts, which we will get sometimes. This is a great activity. And I see a little hair right here. And it's my hair. Sorry about that. I do shed a lot. Okay, here we go. Going in. And it's pretty interesting how it turns out. And then here, we're going to go like that and around. I think after this, I'm going to take out the white pen and go over it. Okay, let's finish this one. like the letter J and let's 
let's get this looks like the end of a the trunk of a elephant down here and this is where I smushed it actually it looks like an eye two eyes a nose open mouth or even a trunk I found another here. My God, I'm shedding everywhere. I notice since I'm getting older, my hair is thinning out. I have very fine hair. And it's all over the place. Okay, there we go. Let's, let's do this side. And around. Okay. Let's go back over here. And let's see what happens when we outline this one. Okay. So we get these scraggly lines in here. There we go. Yes, if you could hit the subscribe or the like or send me a message, I would love it. I love hearing from you all. And there's so many nice people on this channel. And it's a great way to get to know each other. You know, we're all doing, we all have the same interests. You know, it's funny because we could all be doing the same thing, but we all have a different spin on it, which is really nice. You get to see different variations of of how people interpret things and it's inspiring it's like our own thumbprint you know this there's, there's so many ways you can make an envelope or you, you know and you know everybody's got their own um, way of doing it and putting their stamp on it and it's really nice to see other people do stuff. And it encourages all of us to, you know, or inspires rather, to um, get out there and start crafting and, you know, doing whatever it is that we like to do. And I find watching other people and subscribing and um, there's some great talent out there. I have always been more of a um, folk artist, not a fine artist. And um, I have some of my paintings hanging up in the garage. I should really bring them in. I would paint on anything. Panel paneling I've got paneling in the garage I painted on I just find something and paint on it I used to make mirrors go in the garage cut the board out go down to the mirror place get them to make the mirror the same pattern I give them the pattern they cut it out go home glue it down put stuff all around it decorate it It's just fun. It's great for your soul. It really is. And if you can just not be so tough on yourself, you'll have fun. Everybody can paint. Everybody can draw. Everybody has their unique way of doing things. 
we learn from each other and that's what's really nice about it okay here we go we're going in well this looks like the letter L I like that and a little heart now we'll go around this one on the inside go around these little teardrops Yeah, I spoke to my kids yesterday. It was, felt so good after I talked to them. They're such good, good adults, wonderful parents. So proud of them. Love them. They're just wonderful people. Okay, here we go. And I have four beautiful grandchildren. I love. And this is extremely relaxing. Okay, so we got all of these and we're we're moving up to here the black one. Let's see how the black one comes out outlined in black. So I'm going to go around the outer perimeter of the black. And then maybe what I'll do is get out it's time to get out the white gel pen. So here we go, white gel pen. And with the white gel pen, I have found that by not pressing too hard, I get a line. Okay, so, um, I think that's it. Let me see if, Yeah, maybe I could do that. See how that comes out. Put little little circles in here. Little little um squigglies. Little guys snoring. Maybe in the darker one. Pretty cool so far for a doodle, a watercolor doodle. in there a little doodle heart not really a good heart but okay let's put some lines in here they look like feet to me okay here's a question mark it's gonna go around down like this and there So, the, you know, you're only limited by your imagination. Just try anything. See how it comes out. I mean, I could do a lot more to this. But. here so 
So let's go back in here. And looks like I start some of them and then I stopped. What was going on here? Was I thinking? Scary. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we didn't we didn't do this in black. Let's go over this in black. Yes, you are only limited by your imagination and your willingness to get out of your comfort zone and just play. Look, look, I'm on a YouTube video doing stuff. If I can do it, you can do it. I would love to hear from you and hear what you think. Send me a comment. Subscribe. Follow me. Okay, let's go through here. I'm going to go like a snake. I've been very fortunate that I have never had any snakes come enter um, the crafting depot here. And I never want to um encounter that i have a friend down here she's from milwaukee and she had a snake come into her house i don't know how she dealt with it but she managed to get that thing out of the house she used a broom and chased it i'm surprised the thing didn't go after her. but if i remember correctly she shooed him out of the house I think I would have called, I don't know, who, who who do you call if you get a snake in your house? Anybody know? <laughs> That's scary. Okay, let's see. Did we do them all? Yes, we did. Now, there's always more you can do. I mean, if you wanted to, you can make them all look like they're, you know, coming off. Like this and there. Let's see. This one could be coming up. Come up here. Go like that. This could go like that. Like, like little balloons flying in the air. Now we're going to do the white one here. There we go. And you're going to go like that. Probably pressing too hard. Don't press hard with the gel pen. And then they work. They work better. And you're going to go up here. And let's see, did we get all of them? I think we did. I think we're done. Oh, one more. This one's going to go like this and around. Oh, you're, you, you didn't get one. You're going to go like that. Let's see, we got them all. I think we did. I think we're done. By golly, we are done. So this is just a little introduction. I'm trying to think, what, you know, I mean, this is fun. We can go, go around like that. No, go around it like that. We could do, and then go around. You don't really see it that well. So I would just do the black. Pretty cool. Let's do some. Don't 
the spaces. It's just doodle time. Doodle and watercolor. Doodle with watercolor. Okay, that is our little craft activity for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you'd like to see more videos, definitely hit the notification so you get notified that I'm doing a video because I, I do videos every week. I think this is my seventh video for this week. So I love what I'm doing, and I hope that you find something inspiring from it. And I wish you all a wonderful day. Get out there and craft whatever your medium is. And I will see you on the next one. Okay, bye-bye.